Hey guys, Spiderbot here, and I just wanted to provide you guys with some clarification regarding a video I posted uh, this evening called Black Ops 2 uh, Season Pass Details and No Cod Elite Premium? Question mark. Okay, so this was based off of a web page that was posted to Call of Duty.com's UK website, right? Where it details that there looks like they're going with a Season Pass deal for DLC. So let me just review what COD Elite actually is as, as a service. So there are two components to it. COD Elite, for Modern Warfare 3 at least anyway, over the past year, um, once Modern Warfare 3 was released, COD Elite Premium gave you all the DLC um, before every, anybody else could actually purchase it. So... Um, and, and this was separate on, on Xbox and, and PS3. Obviously, Xbox had the 30-day exclusivity on top of that. But if you were um, Premium Elite, you got the DLC before other players on your system, on your console, got it. Okay? And it also included a bunch of services that were on the COD Elite um, premium, or premium site, right? Like COD Elite TV, um, all the video content, etc., and uh, there was some things with regards to clan, clan leveling. I'm not exactly sure the details, uh, the operations, etc., and, and the prizing for those operations. And some of them required, you know, for like a clan ops, it required that you uh, players or, or X number of players within your clan had to have premium elite. All right. So <clears throat> if you bought that premium elite at any point in time from the time that Modern Warfare 3 was launched. Um, up until, and I'm not sure where there's a cutoff date, okay? But <clears throat> supposedly, the services, like the web services that I just went through, like cut out the DLC for now, the web services that I just went through should be provided to you for a year from the time of your purchase of Elite, okay? Of Elite Premium. The DLC, if I bought Elite Premium right now, I would just get all Modern Warfare 3 DLC with that subscription, it does not include any any DLC from Black Ops 2. No matter when you buy it, up until when Black Ops 2 is released, or there's maybe some other cutoff date there somewhere, but you won't get the DLC. And from that web page, and it's actually taken down. I went to the link that uh, that I provided in that last video, and that web page is taken down. So again, who knows? Like maybe, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to go with a season pass. I don't know how they're going to explain away the Codly Premium, okay? We don't have those details. I'm, again, I mentioned in the video, it was just speculation that Elite services would be rolled into, uh, just uh, like Elite Premium services would just be rolled into uh, regular Cod Elite and everybody would have access to them. But then becomes the problem, well, if I'm Activision or I'm Infinity Ward or I'm Treyarch, how do I appease those people that just bought Cod Elite Premium and now it's going to be rolled into just regular Elite. So why did I just buy COD Elite Premium, right? But anyways, the DLC was never part of that. So the DLC, no matter when you bought it within the year, you would only get all the DLC for Modern Warfare 3, including packs, content packs, and map packs that have been previously released before you bought it and leading up until the last content packs that were released, I mean, this month on PS3. So that's just trying to clarify it a little bit for you guys. I hope that's clear as mud <laughs> for you. But I know there are a lot of questions in the um, in the uh, um, comments of that other video, and I'm just going to refer to. I'm just going to go back through the um, the video comments and just see um, what else, what other questions you guys had. Um, so I just bought Cod Elite less than a month ago. Well, like I said, the, the DLC is still yours for Modern Warfare 3. Um, people who got Cod Elite should get the Black Ops 2 maps free until their year is up. Well, that was never the case. And whether it was, you know, marketed as such or, or marketed incorrectly, that would never have been the case. It only gave you the content for the game that you're buying Cod Elite for as far as the DLC is concerned. Um... Somebody's saying that uh, a week or two ago they went to GameStop and GameStop said that they were still doing the Elite Premium DLC deal and they actually reserved COD Elite Premium. But I haven't heard about that. And and the thing is, I haven't seen any official statements by Activision or Treyarch that that is the case. I haven't seen anything unless I'm really missing something. But 
I mean, <clears throat> I watch the news constantly, and, and I get tweeted at, and, and people haven't said anything about Elite, and this is the only information that has actually come out other than um, Beachhead doing sort of a revamp of their website and, and reorganizing a little bit on the site, but that's about it. Um, you know, questions about how are we going to buy it? Well, there are going to be options. I mean, you're likely going to be able to buy it where you buy your game, and I'm sure you're going to be able to buy it online. I mean, that, and that was, I think that was the case with, with COD Elite for Modern Warfare 3. I, I you know, I, I don't think there's, I, I think before the game comes out, you're going to be able to buy it. All right. Um, one thing I actually recommended, though, on Twitter, I actually tweeted, tweeted this out, and I said, listen, if it's a season pass, it's going to be $50, okay? And I don't expect them to release the first DLC until approximately February, and that's was the case with Modern Warfare 3. Um, in my mind, there is absolutely no reason to get the season pass before, you know, just until just before they're ready to release that first DLC pack. Unless, unless, and a couple of notes here, because, you know, I mean, there are things that may impact that. Unless you can get it for cheaper, right? Assuming it's going to be $50. Unless you can get it for less than $50, you know, at a certain point in time before the game releases or before the first DLC pack releases or the price is expected to go up or there may be other incentives tied to it. I don't know. Uh, they, again, this is based just off a web page that they put up and apparently it's been taken down. So we don't, we don't know any details, but barring those circumstances, and there may be others that may impact the price or may impact what you get barring those circumstances. There is absolutely, unless you're really shitty with money and you have 50 bucks now and you don't think you can hold on to it and you'll end up spending it. If you don't put it down towards the, the season pass, then, then go buy it. Okay. But wait until the first DLC is announced at least. Right. And then you'll have actually played the game for a while. And that's what I really hated about, hate about these marketing pushes sometimes is, you know, play the game for a month or two and then decide if you think that it's going to be worth it. If you think that you're going to end up playing the game for that period of time, that you're going to actually purchase those four DLC packs anyway. And if you're not, then don't buy it. Just buy the, the DLC packs as one-offs. And who knows, like they did with Modern Warfare 3, they came up with 50% off sales after a few months, and you were able to buy it for less than what you paid for for COD Elite Premium. Um, so I'm just um, talking, Spider, I thought the contract with Microsoft for the, for the DLC ends at the end of this year. No, they uh, at E3... Uh, we the contract uh, was expiring this year, but at E3 they announced that uh, no, in this in fact the DLC will be released to Xbox 360 a month early again, just like previous uh, previous um, uh, Cod Call of Duty. Sorry. Uh, so what do I do about my pre-order for Cod Elite? Again, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you to go cancel anything at this point, okay? Because again. It's just not clear. They haven't officially come out and said anything. They haven't released any press releases or anything like that. Um, so we're basing it all off this web page and what we think is going to happen, okay? And I did specify that in the previous video. I said, you know, this is what I think will happen with COD Leap because there has been no details. They, they haven't released details. I mean, we're, we're about a month before the game. I mean, they were marketing COD Leap for Modern Warfare 3 well before this. And uh, we really have seen nothing, so I, I'm not sure. Maybe they're trying to still decide what they want to do. Um, what else? Do we get Season Pass free if we get the Special Editions? Well, considering it's a $50 uh, uh, package, uh, what is it, Harden? Harden was only like 80 bucks, right? Plus you're getting a free map. I doubt you're going to get uh, the Season Pass for free with Hardened or even the Prestige Editions. But hey, who knows? Maybe you'll get a discount. I don't know. But they haven't officially announced. I'm not going to say no for certain. They haven't officially announced that information. But I highly, highly doubt it. Uh, what else? They still don't support the Wii. Well, Wii's going to... Black Ops 2 will be on the Wii. But I like Spider a lot. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> uh, what? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't really see, see much else. Much else uh, other than those uh, various questions. So, anyways... That's it. I just wanted to clarify for you guys a little bit. And um, like I said, so you save $10. It's a $50 uh, 
uh, and they're saying, you know, you're you're they're pricing the this DLC packs at fifteen dollars each, so you're saving ten if you spend fifty for the season pass. But uh, anyways, guys, um, hope that helps to clarify things. And that's it. I'm spidering them out.